Hey everyone, I'm Lady Venture and I'm back playing Martha is Dead. Um, let's see what we remember from the last episode. I have, I have blood on my hands. Yes, I do. Alright, let's let's start listing things. One, um, my sister's dead, obviously. Martha's dead. Um, two, she slept with my boyfriend and got pregnant. And then I went and took her newborn out of her for some reason that I don't know why. Two, no, three, sorry, I can't count today. Three, I uh, dismembered my mother after I shot her, carried her head around the house, buried her under a bridge, and called it a day. Yeah, I think that's it. So, um, I don't remember what I'm supposed to be doing because that was so insane i think i'm supposed to be developing something i don't know i don't remember let's see uh oh probably probably both those right okay let's do develop this photo first Um, if I remember how to do this, that would be great, wouldn't it? I want to make you smaller. There we go. Oops. print should be fine like this. You can see detail clearly. Great. Um, let's do one more. Let's do, do Martha and her, uh, her fetus. Her defor I believe the fetus was deformed. She was having twins and, um, Looks like they were conjoined twins to me. Apparently that's bad. I mean... I don't know. I will return to you, Martha. Together, we will sort out everything. Just you and I. Okay. Um, auto-saved. Great. Um, hold on. So... What were we supposed to be doing? Gothic Line. Take a photo of the map. Okay, and then take it to Gothic Line. I'd went to Gothic Line. And, but I couldn't develop the photo. Okay, so I couldn't develop the photo because mom was in the way. Then when I went to Gothic Line, they wouldn't let me do anything. So here we are. Uh, develop my, I had forgotten, I had a roll of the film, ooh, of Martha's death. Oh, okay. There we go. Let we go. Why do I always do that? Um, I have to develop that one. Which one is it though? I'm guessing it's that picture. Did they hit her with a baseball bat? Let me skip. Girl, wash your hands. You're covered in blood. She's like, I don't care. It was just my mom. Oh my 
my god. Oh dear god. So it's true. I killed my sister. I did everything to hide the truth. Then I killed my mother to rid myself of the guilt. But she was nasty and everything was her fault. God, what does that make me? I don't deserve to live a second longer. Why would you kill your sister? Maybe I will see her again and I can try and ask for her forgiveness. No, no, no. But if there is nothing after death, no, no, at no. least I will be free from no. my suffering. No, no, no. I know it's not right, but I can't do this anymore. Ooh. Uh. I fired instinctively at that soldier, hitting him right in the head. But it was not a good idea. He obviously didn't come alone. When the others came in, I closed my eyes. I heard a lot of commotion and then felt a sharp pain in the stomach. They were kicking me while another tried in vain to convince himself that the soldier on the ground was still alive. They hit me in the ribs, the back and the stomach. I couldn't breathe and at the same time I felt the need to vomit. They were ordered to put me on a seat. They bound me up so tightly that I couldn't feel my hands or feet. Here's the thing, I wasn't gonna shoot myself. On the seat next to me was my father. He was breathing, but he appeared to be unconscious. The guy in charge started asking me questions. He kept hitting me in the face and head with some kind of short cane. Fuck you! It was so violent I thought my skull would crack open. All I could taste in my mouth was blood and broken teeth. I ran my tongue across my teeth, thinking to myself that I'd never be able to smile again. A frivolous thought, perhaps, but a painful one nonetheless. Part of my top lip was cut open and was hanging down. I foolishly tried to put it back in place using my tongue and lower lip. I threw up. Oh my god! They forced me to confess that my father had been carrying out all kinds of activity within the German army. Of course, I didn't know anything about it, so I tried to explain. But those punches... I would have done whatever it took to stop them. Whatever it took. This did it in a crazy left turn. Just after I told them what they wanted to hear, the general said, all it took were two slaps and you sold out your father, you German whore. Then he ordered my father to be executed. It took less than a moment. He didn't even move. He pointed to one of the soldiers and then he pointed to me. My time had come. They all left except for the soldier who had the unpleasant task of finishing me off. I wanted to die, but not like that terror engulfed me. I could almost hear the sound of my body evacuating. I had the gun pointed to my forehead. I couldn't look at his face. I stank. I felt indecent. Then he moved the gun on purpose and shot without hitting me. He had taken pity on me. It must have been my fate not to die. He quickly cut the ropes and pushed me to the ground, saying out loud, It's done. The German whore has been dealt with. I was left motionless on the ground. He left, and I fainted again. What the hell? I have no idea what happened. I had to click something when so I quickly. When I came around, I did not know what to do. I was completely empty and felt pain everywhere. Everyone was dead. I was now alone in the world. I felt a desire to hear their voices one last time on Daddy's recorder in the dark room. Provided the soldiers hadn't destroyed it, that is. Okay, hold on. Julia's bag was removed by the soldiers, but they left it in the basement. Okay, hold on, everybody. Everyone, hold on. Okay, so they accused my father of doing things, which I don't know if he actually did. Now I am an orphan, obviously. My Both my parents are dead. I murdered one. I inadvertently got the other one killed, which is fine. It's torture. I do not blame her for that. 
one bit. Um, these guys, God, you left this room so messy. Um, I had to click something so quickly that I clicked shoot him because I didn't want to shoot myself. But when I think about it, I was like, maybe I shouldn't have done either. I don't know what happens if I don't click on anything. If I don't click on anything, I wonder what would have happened. Um, I don't know. Now I will wake her up and she will confess. You can bet on it. What are you doing with your father's gun? It's dangerous. Stop it. Talk. Tell me everything now. Tell me what you have done. Okay, okay. Calm down. I will tell you everything. I found that strange note when I woke up, and I immediately realized that something was wrong. Something was up with you, aside from your usual quirks. I came to check, but you weren't in your bedroom. You had spoken about the lake, and I got worried, so I called your father, and we went to see what was going on. We found you sitting in your underwear at the side of the lake. Took her dress off. You kept saying that nothing had happened, and you kept repeating things like that. I hugged you to try and make you feel better, but you did not speak again for days. What is happening to you? You should tell me what's going on. I'm not going to that loony bin. I would never have wanted this, but I'm afraid you will harm yourself further. You were really hurting yourself in front of the piano that night. What else could we do? You killed my sister and now you're afraid because I found out. So you're making up stories, aren't you? But I'm not falling for it this time. What are you saying? Your sister. Please, no. I was not well. I didn't know what I was saying. So many years have passed. You were little then. I thought everyone had forgotten that nonsense. Shut up. Don't speak. Don't say anything else. What are you doing, my daughter? Why do you want to ruin your life? I'm sorry. It wasn't me who just shot Mummy. It wasn't me. That's the only part we heard. We only heard those three lines. I didn't lines. know who I was anymore. Everything had fallen apart. I was afraid of myself. My God, it was terrible. I had always been convinced that I was too good for myself, but then I had become my own enemy. I was the danger. What should I have done? I thought about the puppet theater in my old room. There I could find something in myself, perhaps. So I rushed to go play with it again. Why? You, we have other things to do. The puppet theater. I don't want to. Well, we have to find your bag. This is insane. This is insane. We don't even, uh. Oh, there it is. Duh. I was like, I don't know where it is. I'm they didn't take it. They could have saw the picture with the map that I was going to give to the soldiers. I need to go to the puppet theater. Okay. I still haven't gone to the gothic line. I'm wondering with me becoming a spy and them seeing me send out that, um, that message and stuff, is that what got my father killed? I mean... Here's the thing, guys. I don't want to be a spy. I don't want to do any of this. I was just trying to figure out who killed my sister. Apparently it was me. Um, I thought it was weird too because remember she ripped off her dress and then she jumped in. Oh, you guys jacked everything up. She jumped in the lake for her sister. And in the photo she... Um, I don't know. Uh, why is there can't There wasn't candles everywhere the last time I did this. Um... When she developed the photo, I was wearing the dress holding my sister. And I was like, that's weird because I took my dress off. I thought that was really weird. Interesting. Another puppet show. Another insane puppet show. Ooh. Mummy nearly died giving birth to me. This is what remains in my memory of my mother's, nanny's, and father's stories. I remember little to nothing of my childhood at home. I have to try though. Maybe the important events I should know are right there.
What's up, Nanny? Madam. How are you, madam? I'm giving birth. I feel a sharp pain. I don't think I can I can't click anything else. I don't know why they even give Do me that. Do you option. need anything? Yeah, I need this damn baby out of me. I can feel it. The time has come. Open window. Why are we opening the windows? Okay, am I supposed to? I'm supposed to switch. But she's not moving. Okay, let's not do that. Let's. Are you gonna. What are you doing? That I was gonna go to the mom, but now I'm still nanny. Towel down, okay. Everything is ready. Help! Something is wrong! It is help! Irene is not well! How are you, honey? I'm getting weaker and weaker. This is so weird. Where, where are you going? Doctor, hurry! Arena is sick! What's up, doctor? Don't worry, Irene. The pain you feel is natural. Push, Irene, push. I feel like you should sterilize yourself? Give birth. Okay, just give birth. Good job. Uh, oh, what is happening? Uh, I don't know what was happening. Push, Irene, push. I don't, okay. Uh, I'm doing, oh. I'm doing D. Uh, I'm doing D. I'm doing D for baby. Uh, I'm not doing A. Uh, I don't even know if I'm doing uh, it. Uh, Get birth to the damn thing. Push, uh, Irene, push. Oh my god, you're making me work really hard to give birth here. We all know. It's not that hard. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I can hear my mom right now. How dare you? 21 hours of labor. You ungrateful person. Uh, love you, mom. Oh, hey, puppet baby. Creepy. Creepy puppet baby. The baby is born. Yeah, there's still one more. I want to get that one out too. I feel sick. I feel myself wasting away. It's going to be okay. Poor mummy. She has suffered so much. I have hurt her so much ever since I was born. Wait, there were twins. Where's the other one? I'll pet the dog. Hi. Oh. Puppet doggy. <laughs> so cute. I guess I have to speak eventually. Ooh. Uh, mommy, I'm hungry. Mommy, I have to pee. Mommy, I'm thirsty. Mommy, I'm sleepy. Eh. We're all tired, aren't we? Mommy, I'm sleepy. What 
Ma'am? Stop being a brat. You can't sleep now. Okay. Mummy, I'm hungry. I don't give a fuck. Um, uh, she's just gonna paint. Well, yeah, that picture she was painting. I feel like they're gonna make me talk no matter it's not what. Time to eat. Stop being a crybaby. Mummy, I'm thirsty. I feel like it matters what I do because mom's just gonna do whatever she wants. I wanna know what she paints though. Because that was that painting when we first started, it was a blank canvas and then it started getting like that. I think that's the last thing I saw is it looked like that. Um. I never saw anything progress after that, so I don't know what else she's doing there. You're going to annoy me. You just drank. Okay. You are angry. Can I pee? I'd like to pee at least. Mummy, I have to pee. This child needs a lot from you. Yeah. That's enough! Go to your room! Okay. Why would I take the balloon? <sighs> Get out of my sight! I can stand you no longer! Jesus! Okay. How do I, uh... <coughs> Jesus! How dare you! I will make you pay for that! It was just a balloon. Oh, do I really need to beat my child? I do not approve of this. My hands are not enough. You need to learn properly this time. I don't want Sorry, to. It was an accident, mummy. Please don't hit me. Yeah, you C word. <laughs> Almost came out of my mouth. Ugh. Really? No, I don't want to beat her. Can I, can I switch? Hold on. Can Martha run? Dang. Well, let me run. All right, let's get it over with. Dum. Oh. Dum. That's so sad. This is just a game. Is, is it only it? a game? I, don't I believe know. the white lady said that my lost memories would return in the place of my happy childhood. This is the only place I have ever been truly happy. Are these my memories then? Is this actually my life? I have no idea. I don't know. Let's take the picture. Picture. Mm, why would I slip it over her head? Oh yeah, I'm gonna drink from the picture, which is probably gonna piss my mom off. Suck it. Suck it, mother. Suck it. Martha. Oh. You could have got Martha a glass, a little know-it-all. You're only good for judging others, aren't you? God, I don't like any of these. Ugh. You could have got Martha a glass, you little know-it-all. Yeah, I'm just gonna apologize because she's. Sorry, mummy. 
It doesn't matter what I say to her. She's just gonna be garbage. Uh... Yeah, let's play patty cake. Can we play patty cake? Is that gonna be too loud for you, Mom? Yeah, no, I don't think Martha is gonna be mean to her sister. So is it her mom's fault that Martha doesn't talk or speak? I'm assuming. You're gonna make me do whatever I want to do anyways. Ugh, don't drink out of it. She's gonna yell at you. What is she doing just standing over there? What is she supposed to be doing? Sewing? <laughs> it only gives like one option. <laughs> Why? Ugh. What? What are you doing? Are you crazy? You're gonna beat me too? I wouldn't... I wouldn't blame my sister, but I also wouldn't say I'm angry at you. Angry with you at my mother. But I am a child. Mm. Alright. It's all Martha's fault. It's not, but I don't. I don't believe you. Of course you don't. Are you gonna grab your cane? I saw that. You think you're so smart. What are you gonna do, hit her? Ooh, Martha. Don't punish Julia, mommy. It's my fault. I asked her to do it. You're too good, Martha. It's not your fault. I've seen it all. What do you got, Julia? I don't know. Sorry, Mummy. I didn't do it on purpose. I don't want to hear you. Oh, I hate you! Oh, stop being a stupid child. You're the worst mother. No, don't, don't. They won't let me do anything else, will it? Don't grab Julia. Ooh. Come with me now. Don't you have better things to do with your life? Like, go somewhere else in the house and leave these children alone so they can play together? Sorry, mommy. I'm so sorry. Come with me. I feel like I don't have a choice. They just kind of- I will put you in your place, girl. They already know what's gonna happen, so they they make me do it anyway. You already know you're gonna make me do it. Why are we tying her up? What the fuck? Sorry, mommy. I won't do it anymore. I promise. Okay, I stand by my comment that you're a big C word. And I don't mean cancer. Too late. These false tears won't help you. What are you gonna boil her to death? Wait, what is with the cauldron over there? <sighs> You're too little to break free. How old are you? Stay still! Eight, maybe? Probably younger? Okay. Help! Uh, I'm kinda happy she <laughs> killed you. <laughs> You're a horrible person. If you kick that dog, I swear. Now I'll make you want to bark. Okay, I apologize. My dog alone. If I could reach through this screen, I would bitch slap someone. You're gonna put it in a why? Everyone look away from the puppet dog. Kill the dog? Just everyone. There's no point screaming, stupid girl. Look away. 
no, mummy, please. Boiled it down for glue. Yeah, you are insane. You're insane. I agree. Sure. Now I'll show you how insane I am. This puppet show is insane. Oh, no. Why is there an eyeball in there? Help, Daddy, help! Yeah, where is Daddy? Anybody. Screaming won't work. Your father is not here like usual. I mean... No wonder he's a Nazi. I think you made him a Nazi. <laughs> At this point. Eat it! Jesus! I didn't think that this could get more disturbing from my previous episode. I was like, I'm gonna play this. It's fine. They can't get any worse. For some reason, I, I don't know. They got they got worse. That's all I'm gonna say. They got worse. And this is just a puppet show. It's not even... No! Of course, this is what she remembers. Or like the white lady said, her repressed memories would come back. And here we are. Why not? Eat! Eat the dog or you get slapped. <laughs> Oh my god, can we please end this puppet I show? I won't eat him! I know. Okay, stop slapping the child. I said eat! You're gonna make me make her eat it. I would have vomited everywhere. She ate the eye and the bone. She ate the eye and the bone. The eye and the bone. I was beginning to remember. But I was so scared to remember too much, especially all at once. I didn't have time to guess exactly what happened. It was making me too upset. Pulling out those memories was like trying to pull out a tooth on your own. Almost impossible, and far too painful. The white lady told me that the church is a safe place and home to its children. Don Atilio, my priest, I have to talk to him. I have to call him on the telephone. Yeah. Got it. Um. The eye and the bone. I don't know if you guys uh heard me say that. Five seconds ago. Um, telephone. Telephone. Oh, I can't see anything. Uh, six, nine, that five or three, six, nine, three, eight, uh, six, six, nine, 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 um, three, eight, excuse me, father, I, uh, murdered my mother, my sister, and my father, By accident. Don Attilio speaking. Who is it? Father, help me. They're all dead. Daddy, Mummy, everyone. Julia, come to me immediately. Don't stay alone. It's dangerous. Come to town. You can stay here with me and we can talk about everything. Okay? Yeah. Okay, Father. But first I want to play with my puppets for a while. You just played Julia, with them. Don't be silly. Come to church right away. Do not make me play with the puppets again. Okay, my objective has been updated. If it says play with puppets, I'm going to throw something because... Stop it, child. The puppet theater is the only thing left. I haven't gone to Gothic Line yet. I kind of want to take it to them just so I can say screw you to um, the Nazis. Take the bike. Here's the thing, guys. I never found that bike pump. Um, I looked everywhere for that stupid bike pump. I wonder if it's in with my room. Look in there. Yeah, I never found it. Bike pump? Oh good, I, I can't click on it. Okay. I never found it. I don't know if someone moved it. I have no idea. 
it says take the bike, but I'm like, I don't know. Where the hell's the bike pump at? They didn't have air. That shit didn't have air. All right, we're going. Should I drop um? Should I drop the map off? Wait, hold on. Should I um? Do I have to get off to check the map? I think I do. I don't want to do that. You know how hard it is to ride to ride this stupid ass thing. <laughs> Not very good. Um. I'm wondering, I'm right by it. I kind of want to drop off my thingy. Where is it? It's very hard to see out here. Um. It's hard for you guys to see. I'll lighten it. I mean, it's hard for me to see. I want to... Where is that house? Right there. I see the pathway. There we go. There you go. Do what you will with it. There we go. The photo is where they requested. Um, my objective was updated. It updated twice, so I'm gonna check it right now. Where's my bike, though? Where'd I leave you? Oh, Mr. Bike. There you are. I did that. Good for me. I don't think there was anything else. It updated twice, but that was the only thing. Communication table. Um. We're gonna go. We're we're gonna go. We're gonna go. We're gonna go. Um. This bicycle is the worst. I don't know why. I don't want to go that way. I want to go this way. Oh my god, sensitivity. Just um a little sensitive. What is the point of the bike? I feel like I can get places faster by running? What, what just happened? I didn't do it. Alright everyone. Warning, the following chapter contains a scene displaying self-harm. Some players may find the scene disturbing. Would you like to view the censored version? I think even though I'm- I have... Um... My title of this is uncensored version. I think for this one, I'm just going to censor it. Um, we've already been through a lot together, so I'm fine with doing it more censored. I'm fine with that. I'm not. I don't Those think boys, they had all been killed and it was my fault. We need not they were my censor. age and a few of them were our friends. I didn't think it would go like that, but wasn't it obvious, really? What was I actually expecting? I felt like a coward. But what could I have done? Should I have betrayed my father? I loved my father, but I also loved my friend Lapo. Which side was I on? I just listened to my heart. I thought it was the right thing to do. But instead, it was the worst thing I could have done. 
Oh, where am I? Um... Where am I going? Ooh, where's my map? Apparently, I don't have one. Okay. supposed to go I don't know if I'm supposed to avoid them or not avoid them oh there we go okay I was like I kind of want to avoid them because they kicked my ass and I don't appreciate it and I'm supposed to be dead that's another issue once I crossed that threshold I completely lost touch with reality everyone around me had died while I survived everything What's up, puppets? Oh, whoa, okay. I don't remember how things went. I just remember a big light and then photographs were being taken of me. There was a man dressed in white, a doctor I presume. He was asking me questions, but I didn't understand what he was actually asking me. He wrote something on a piece of paper and then two nurses led me away. I was in the mental asylum. Some women were talking to themselves. Others cried. Some were even covered in their own filth. Others were violent and tried to hurt themselves any way possible. There was this one young woman who would pleasure herself all day long, incessantly, to the point where she would bleed. So they would tie her down to the bed screaming, cursing and talking gibberish for days on end. Once her wounds had healed and she was untied, she would just start again. That woman was me. They started to give me injections. What they gave me made my whole body shake. I broke my vertebrae and an ankle. I think it was called cardiazole or something like that. My body was like a fire that didn't want to be put out. When it appeared to be quenched, it would come back, even stronger than before. In the end, though, they won. I stopped screaming and masturbating. I stopped thinking. There was no longer any need for therapy. Something inside of me had died. But nevertheless, I insisted on carrying along this painful journey. I was stronger than I could ever have imagined. That's the censored version? I mean, that was enough for me. I'm good. answers. Don't go away. Talk to me about Martha, 
please. Does Martha exist? That's a great question. Does Martha exist? You know what? I don't think she does. Martha does not exist. She never existed. She's just a figment of my imagination. Impossible. I remember her. I loved her. But only one baby was born? I don't know. She is a part of me. She is an invention. I think she's In a part of me. In some respect, Martha does exist. She is within me. Part of me is Martha, and another part is Julia. It's extremely painful. And Mother? Is she alive? Mm. No. Um... You know what? I don't know. But I'm gonna assume... I'm gonna assume I Mommy did kill her. Mommy is dead. Nobody knows that better than I do, unfortunately. It's useless to try and deceive ourselves. Did I do what I think I've done? Which is what? Yes? Yes, damn it. It really happened. I cut her into pieces and buried her under the bridge. I was God, there. all that blood. My God, I knew it. What about Daddy? The soldiers, did that really happen? Pretty sure it did. I'm positive that one happened for sure. It happened. He was shot right in front of me. Fear, pain, shame. I can't remove it. However, I we cannot relive it either. Never heard the gunshot. Unfortunately, I knew that already. What about Nanny? Ugh. Honestly, I don't know about Nanny. I haven't seen Nanny in so long. I don't know what could have happened to her. Who knows where she is, the poor thing. I'm afraid to ask about Lapo. Yeah, Lapo is uh, for sure dead. doesn't exist. Well, I bled, so I think I'm the one that was pregnant. So he has to exist. This is a mind fuck. I'm gonna say he's dead. Lapo is dead. He was blown up by a landmine. Was he? He got into trouble and paid with his life. My dear friend. Poor boy. Just as I remembered. Unfortunately, one last question. The pregnancy? Yeah, I think I was I pregnant. I was pregnant, but then I had a miscarriage. Mm -hmm. So much blood that morning. And my mind decided that things had gone differently. Who knows what else I was hiding. That's enough now. All of these questions are pointless, aren't they? It's all inside of us. We just need to turn the mirror. Is it not all just the reflection of an unknowable existence? Nothing more than a puppet show. Ready for everything with open arms. Even ready to kill. Legs always ready to run. The womb that conceived in sin. I 
I don't agree with that. Lastly, the mind. To protect us, it has turned us into monsters. Either way, we cannot live like this, can we? I'll take care of it. I don't need to worry. I'll try to sleep if I can. I've got this. Oh. On the 26th of July, San Casciano was bombed and the church was destroyed. But I was not there then. I was already in the asylum. Once again, stubbornly, I was not dead. The bombs hadn't killed me and I had also survived myself. The most absurd test and the hardest one. The war ended some time ago now both out there and inside of me. I was on the wrong side of the gate, but now I can turn the page. Life is opening its doors again, isn't it? If I hadn't been so lucky to survive myself, I would have thrown everything away. We think that danger is all around us, ready to attack. But the most devious and misleading dangers are the ones that are inside of us. They grow without us realizing. They make us suffer, remain confused, and remove our self-respect. I would have wanted to ask for help, but I was alone. This is my story. Thank you for being here for listening to me. Now I'm ready to leave. How long will it take to get home? Fortunately today it is possible to ask for help and receive it even if we are alone, even if we are desperate, even if we feel like life does not make sense. If it feels like there is nothing left for us, it's only because we can no longer see it. There is always something to live for. Something great could be just around the corner. If you need help, Wow, guys. There are no words. This game was fantastic. A little brutal, a little gruesome. Fantastic, though. I... I don't even know how many endings there are, honestly. Are there endings where maybe... my dad doesn't die? I'm assuming I kill my mom in general. But maybe if I didn't work as a spy, um, you know, maybe if didn't find certain things, I don't know. All right, everyone, I wanted to do some digging because I wasn't sure if there was multiple endings. So there is only one ending. So we got what the ending was. However, there are multiple theories about the game. Um, there's one theory that comes into question. Obviously, Julia kills Martha theory. 
um, which means Martha existed, which I, I believe she did exist, but because our psyche was so jacked up from the decisions I was doing and, and just how everything was going about, I was like, I don't know if Martha was real. So there's the theory that Martha blacked out, or no, I'm sorry, Julia blacked out either because of the Lapo situation or Martha saying that she was going to take the blame, uh, you know, to get her mom there to say she was pregnant kind of a thing. And then not only that, she, she lied about, you know, being deaf and then she could talk again. And basically Juliet blacked out and killed her sister. That's a theory. If, if we go with that theory, then we know who the killer is. If we don't, then we're just assuming that it was either some random person or it was her mom. So, but I don't know. There's also the theory that Martha never existed in the first place, which was the theory I was going with because when we did the puppet shows, only one child was born. And then, but then when we did another one, when they were little kids, Martha and Julia were both there. And so I'm like, I don't, I don't know. Like, was it a split personality kind of a thing? Because of all of the horrors from her mom. Her mom is a monster. Okay? Plain and simple. So if her psyche broke, it's because of her mother. I completely understand that. Um, she was pregnant. I believe that's another thing they were talking about. That they were both pregnant because of Lapo. And she did have a miscarriage. Um, so yeah, that's, that's true to the story. And I believe everyone everyone died. She did survive in the end. I'm pretty sure Nanny died as well. So yeah, um, a little digging for you guys. And I, I thoroughly actually enjoyed it because I was having fun reading stuff. But um, this game was pretty amazing. I'm not gonna lie. I really enjoyed it. I wish it was actually longer. I felt like it was a lot shorter than it should have been. There's so many avenues we could have went. Um, it's nice to know that me spying or not spying didn't really would affect anything. Kind of like things that I did and I was like, man, I shouldn't have done that. It wouldn't have mattered, which is which is good because I was like, man, I really want to know, you know, what's was as we like to call it, the true ending. But that was the true ending. So um, everyone, please comment, like and subscribe. Um, ring that little bell. That bell uh, tells you when I put up new videos, notifies you when they when they pop up. Um, yeah, let me know what you guys think. And I, I hope you enjoyed this series as much as I did. I do apologize that it is pretty brutal. And that's why it's going to be labeled as uncensored. So uh, have a good day. Thanks. Bye.